Hello, Feel Great. Welcome back. It's so good to see you here. And today we're going to start with a review about the activity that we did yesterday. And let's check because we did activities about the question words to ask about information and everything. Um, remember that we used this topic in the books with articles from the newspaper and etc. So, and this was the result we have and that you needed to complete the questions by using who, what, where, when and what happened. So the first one was who wrote the letter? Next one, where do you live? When does the movie start and what is your job? In these cases, you need to understand what do these words mean? What, do, uh, what do the question words mean? So uh, you might understand their meaning and try to understand then the questions to complete and choose what is the, the best option to complete the, the, the question, okay? Remember, these are used only in question. For that reason, they are called question words, okay? So, right now we are going to go to the activities that we are going to be doing today. And we are going to practice the verbs. Remember that we have two types of verbs. We have the regular verbs and also the irregular verbs. And we use these verbs in sentences to talk about past actions that events and actions that happened in the past and they are already finished. For example, we have some of the verbs that we are learning in unit two and some other verbs. For example, we have move in present, moved in simple past, graduate, graduated in simple past, dance, danced in simple past, sing, sang in simple past, Write, wrote in simple past, be born, was born, or were born in simple past. It depends um, in the subject that you are using in the sentence or the question. Get married, got married, drink, drank, sleep, slept with only one eye, talk, talk. Okay, in these cases, we see we are seeing some verbs that are regular and some others are irregular. You need to pay attention to this. These are other verbs different to the ones that I show you in, in the chart from the last week and the last week. Um, if you feel like you should copy, maybe you should because it's going to help you to study. So, right now that we review this, you need to practice this. Please pay attention to this. Remember, study these verbs into their form, into the simple past tense. You need to learn this, okay? So right now we're going to go to the activity for today. And, but first we're going to say, to read some sentences with the verbs in past. For example, um, I graduated from college. It happened in the past because I'm not graduating today. Yesterday we moved to a new home. Yesterday, it is in the past. I was born in a beautiful island. I, I was born some years ago, so for that reason I'm using the simple past. Pay attention. I was born. This is the past. Of be born, I was born. Mr. Smith retired a few months ago. It's saying a few months ago. That's the reason why you are going to say retired in past. My friends were born in 2000. Okay, in this case, you are saying were born, no was born, because in this case we are using plural, okay? Were born is going to be with plural. You, they, or we is going to be where. So the activity right now is here. We have it like I'm giving you some options, graduate, get married, be born. 
you need to answer to me these activities orally in an oral way and I'm going to read the number one. My little brother, blank, from elementary school. Elementary school is like primaria. My little brother, blank, from elementary school. What's the correct answer? Okay, if your answer was graduate, but in past, graduated, my little brother graduated from elementary school, your answer is correct. Remember, um, I didn't tell you in the, in the explanation, in the instruction, that you needed to change these verbs into past. But you know this, that we are using and practicing past. Simple, okay? Try to practice that and have it on mind. Number two, my mom and dad, blank, married a few years ago. It is easier. The correct option is, my mom and dad got married a few years ago. Very good. Number three, you, blank, 10 years ago. You have left, solo nos queda, be born. But how are we going to use that? ¿Cómo la vamos a escribir en pasado simple? If your answer was, you were born 10 years ago, your answer is correct. Remember that you is going to use always were into the simple past. And that's it. If you have questions about these verbs, you need to practice them and ask me, of course. Please practice these verbs and remember this. Try to learn these verbs, have them on your mind. They are going to help you for the exam. You need to study this for the exam. And that's it for today. So I have something important that tomorrow we are going to have the Zoom meeting and we are going to be celebrating Halloween. So I'll be waiting to meet you there with your costumes and everything try to be on time remember that we're going to be doing some activities and for that reason we have a talent show you need to practice a talent and to introduce your talent to the class and also we are going to be doing the ghost challenge you need to have a, a blanket and also sunglasses like in this picture we are going to be doing this so, um, please, be ready, try to be on time tomorrow, and I'll meet you there, I'll be waiting to meet you, um, yes, I'll see you there, have a nice and beautiful day, and I'll meet you, goodbye!